Prince William has spoken out after a black guest at Buckingham Palace allegedly faced a series of racially motivated comments from the prince's godmother. Lady Susan Hussey, also a close friend of the late Queen Elizabeth, has resigned after Ngozi Fulani, who runs a black women's domestic abuse charity, accused her of making comments that Buckingham Palace later described as unacceptable and deeply regrettable and which left Ms. Fulani feeling like a trespasser. The spokesman for the Prince of Wales said it was really disappointing to hear about the experiences of a guest at Buckingham Palace. The spokesman added, Racism has no place in our society, these comments were unacceptable, and it's right that the individual concerned has stepped down. Ms. Fulani claimed she had her ethnicity closely questioned by Ms. Hussey. An investigation has been launched into the claims. A royal source confirmed Hussey has departed from her honorary role in the household. Ms. Fulani claims Hussey asked her, Where do you come from? and went on to repeatedly follow the same line of questioning. In a conversation that followed, the member of the household allegedly continued to ask what nationality are you? Where do your people come from? And what part of Africa are you from? She also allegedly said, I can see I am going to have a challenge getting you to say where you're from. When did you first come here? Eventually, Ms. Fulani says she replied, I am a British national, my parents came here in the 1950s, to which Hussey responded, Oh, I knew where to get there in the end, you're Caribbean. Ms. Fulani said she then corrected the aristocrat with, No, I am of African heritage, Caribbean descent and British nationality. Mandu Reid, leader of the Women's Equality Party, who was next to Ms. Fulani and witnessed the exchange, said they were treated almost like trespassers. Ms. Reed added that they felt like they were not being treated as if we belong, were not being embraced as if we are British. She said the exchange ended up feeling like an interrogation, and that Ms. Ngozi immediately felt that she was not welcome and wanted to leave.